My name is Charles Foster and I've decided to do a little bird watching in the Gambia. Situated in West Africa, the Gambia was formerly a British colony and the country follows the Gambia River that cuts through the heart of Senegal. One of the Gambia's longest established bird watching destinations, Tendaba lies 100 kilometers upstream from Banjul. It remains the most accessible and most visited. The four bumpy hours it takes to get there by road from the coastal resorts are about as much as you can take if you're only coming for a short stay. The species you can find in the countryside with an easy walking distance of the camp include the western reef heron, the hammercock, and several species of bee eater. But I have to take a boat, and with bird guide Abraham Barry, we head across the river to one of the creeks. There are spectacular mangroves here, and we hope and indeed do see several species of heron, egrets, various species of waders, bee eaters, and some red-chested swallows. Today I hope to find a bird that has eluded me in my trip so far, the African darter. Most visitors arrive on two-day standard excursions from the coastal resorts or as part of a tailor-made itinerary with a specialist tour company or a privately hired driver and guide. Bush taxis running between Serracunda and Brikama will drop you at Quinella, where you can call to the lodge and they can pick you up. The cost is 100 dalassies per person. Or well, you could walk the five kilometers from the river to Quinella and wait around for a local delivery car to pick you up. And then, as the light fades, we see what we were looking for. An African data with its long undulating neck and weird snake-like behavior. As the light fades and we disembark, there's time to catch the receding tide and as the sun sets, we all have a chance to see more waders and species of kingfisher. Kendaba Camp, telephone number 44514 or 9911108, address PO Box Tendaba Camp, LRD.